you're here. How, how's your anxiety levels feeling? Quite high. It's just, I feel like a newbie again anyway. I'm recording now as well. Hey. <laughs> I just thought. Yeah, really now? I look rough. This is yeah. raw and natural. <laughs> Today, what I'm gonna do is sacrifice my gym session uh, because basically, in the last vlog, if you watched it, I mentioned how Kareen has really kind of been stressing about work lately. Like, she'll just spend hours upon hours at a computer and forget to eat, and I have to kind of push her and try and make sure she eats food. And also, she's not been trained as well. Like, she used to train pretty regular, probably like maybe three, four times per week. So I'm trying to get her motivated to go back to the gym and kind of make that step. Because I was thinking to myself, what would a good boyfriend do? And that's like thinking, what would Goku do? And he would try and get the person motivated to go train. So this is what we're trying to do today. So basically I got her to sign up to the gym last week and I think she went once. But she was kind of confused of what to do because she feels like she's totally out of her routine. So I'm gonna go to her gym and I'm just gonna go work out there, do something light. I'm, I'm not really even gonna be focused on my own workout. It's more just going there, kind of supporting her. But yeah, so that's the vibe run today. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys um, when me and Karina are probably going to the gym. All right, peeps, we are on route now. She already came trying to come up with some mad excuse. <laughs> <laughs> her excuse wasn't even good either. I thought she was gonna say she was tired. But it was literally, no, 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 you said I can't be asked to get changed. That is not a good enough excuse, so we are on the way to the gym. If she stuck with a good excuse, like I'm tired, I would have let it fly, but... Oh, I'm tired. No, you wasn't. So we're going now, it's not going to be a mad long session, we're just going to gradually ease into it. So if you're going through this yourself, or you know someone that is a friend or a partner or whatever, um, don't try push them to do some over the top mad workout, just try and get in there and do what you can. The main thing is getting them there, because that's the first step making them comfortable while there and then hopefully they get to the point when they go by themselves because I'm not going to the gym group forever. <laughs> <laughs> we are here people, we are ready to make some gains. Are you happy? Deep down you're happy really. We're about to make gains together. It's 8 o'clock now so my ideal, I'm not going to say a specific time but I would assume we'll probably be gone by 9ish. By the time we get in there pee, warm up a bit. Yes, that'd be like 55 minutes and that's yeah. barely my rest periods and shit. For some reason, I thought she hasn't been gymming longer. I was thinking it was more like three months, but I remembered. Now it was, it's been like more like a month. Yeah, it was a month because I was at um, Ultimate Fitness for a bit. All right, peeps. The interesting thing will be if my coaster works it because I haven't been to this gym. <laughs> oh. So, now that we're here, how, how's your anxiety levels feeling? Feel high. <laughs> One, I haven't been to the gym in a while, and two, it's just I feel like a newbie again anyway. You keep thinking it's like starting from scratch, it's really not. For one, it's only been a month. For some reason, I thought it was like three months. So the fact it's only been a month, you're not training. About about two weeks of consistent working out, you'll be back in the swing of things like like That's normal. I, mean, I need a consistent routine. Today is more about just acclimating, like getting used to being in the gym and actually enjoying it rather than um, focusing on like optimalness. People when they start the gym back and they try and get back into their old routine straight away, they're doomed for failure because their body can't handle it and they, they mentally can't handle it either. So yeah, we're just going to get in here, have that a little bit of fun. Huh? That used to be me. What, the girls? Yeah. Cheeks! <laughs> she's a cheek stalker by the way, that's why I said it. <laughs> Like, she's a double tap on Instagram of the butt cheeks. She loves a good butt cheek. <laughs> yeah, but it's normal for me to tap, tap butt cheeks. You straight? One thing I will say, still got this dead music. Emporium has a lot more rap and hip hop. Gonna get this workout in, an hour, in and out, we're gone. Start on the lap pull down, it's a nice warm up. Oh yeah, it's weird, when I was leaving the bathroom, like a guy goes, oh, I recognize you from YouTube, and he went to firms me, but I gave him the elbow, and it was awkward because he didn't switch to the elbow, so his fist, <laughs> yeah, his fist firmed my elbow. <laughs> I feel bad. So if you're watching this, my bad, but you should have went elbow to elbow. When a man gives you the elbow, you got elbow too. Don't fist the elbow. Anywho, get on with the set. It doesn't matter if you got a whole room, how, how many people are shorter than you to see down there? Exactly. All right, does the weight feel comfortable? See the close? All right, so if you want to focus on the lats the most, what you have to do is try and keep your elbows as close to your body. So it's a little hard with this bar. Do they have other fixings? 
Yeah, like that. So you see your elbows are a little bit close to your body, so you don't have a set. Bang. But just don't try and pull it too far ahead of you. If the weight's too heavy, then we lighten the weight. For today's work workout, I'll actually not put my headphones in, so I'll focus on a bigger challenge and weight for the reps. Yeah. Make sure you sit under it fast. And you haven't got to do no stupidness like that. Literally. Boom, like that. If you still struggle, if you're feeling your lats, if you can get some sort of bar like this or a closer grip, all right guys just for a quick bit I put on the mic so I can give you this little bit of a tutorial then I'm focusing back on you Kareem but uh, I thought it's a good tip so basically what I was saying is in case you couldn't hear it with the, the gym music is that if you struggle to fill it with your lats with a regular bar try and use one that's close grip because the more you can bring your elbows to the size of you is basically the more you're gonna feel in your lats especially the lower down area and the key thing is is that when you're doing it don't do a weight that's too heavy because you're going to start feeling more in your traps and all sorts and you're going to start swinging using the momentum. So a quick tip as well I mentioned was about when you pull down, move your thumb on the outside so you focus more on that, not your biceps. Then at the bottom, make sure you pause for a slight bit. You haven't got to do an exaggerative like that. A slight second's fine, so it's like a quick boom. Boom. With these bars, obviously, it's not the same as a regular bar, so you can't pull the middle bit all the way down to your chest. Just make sure you're not doing something silly like doing that. That is not the right way. You haven't got to do a crazy, exaggerative lean back either. That's more like a cable row. The more vertical you can get while just pushing on your chest is the best. And you're feeling your lats a lot. All right, so give this one a go and see if you feel it a little bit more in your lats. Well, while you're pulling down, you can have it on the end, and then once you get comfortable, then switch over the grip a bit. So when you get to the bottom, pause a slight bit. Yeah, you haven't even got to pause that long, but just a nice little dab, yeah. Do you feel a little bit more? That's what I like to hear. That was a cool lap. What is good people? I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. This back to the basics. As you can see right now, we're just in the gym group, just training a little bit of everything basically. It was meant to be like a light touch on every single body part just to get the doms out of the way. Plus, Kareem's just getting used to the gym again. So the main thing we kind of assessed was we helped improve their form on the dumbbell bench press, which she's going to talk about in a minute, and then also on the lap pull down. But overall, it was more about just going to the gym and actually enjoying the vibes and just actually getting used to actually going, you know, being comfortable in the zone. As mad as it sounds, that is the most important step. It's not about getting your routine straight away. How the sixes feel? They're all fine, but I don't feel chest. Huh? I don't feel chest. Maybe you lift a heavier weight, a lightest weight is probably too easy for you. It's like moving your arms regular. I will say, I do not like this hamstring machine though. I don't like this lying hamstring one. If you've seen, the one I have in Emporium, it doesn't have all this weird ergonomic stuff and it feels more comfortable. Huh? Too short for this one. Oh, then what's the point doing it? Let's do something else. I'm telling you, people, that line hamstring machine is just not great. It's one of the worst ones I've ever been on. Anyways, in regards to the actual workout, we're just trying to do a light touch, as I said. So we hit legs, we hit back, we hit chest. The only thing I didn't think we hit directly was actually shoulders. Um, but Kareem originally was feeling shoulders in, in the lap pull down, so I guess she did. <laughs> but overall, you can see me just doing the, the uh, what's it called again, tricep pull downs, underhand grip. Get you set in, give me 20. Overall guys, if any of you are watching uh, that are probably suffering with getting back into the gym, whether it's because of lockdown or an illness or whatever, the key thing is just get there. So don't try and go for the long gym session, literally. Go for 30 minutes if that's what it takes to get you inside the actual building. That is what you need to do. You know what I mean? Some of you may feel like overwhelmed thinking you gotta do an hour or an hour and a half. Do 20, do 30, do 40, whatever it takes to get you in that building so you start being comfortable and actually just move those muscles and body parts. Do whatever you can, you know what I mean? Start gradual and sustainable. That's the key, you know what I mean? Anyways, people, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. All right, so the workout's done now. How are you feeling? It's technically right now, it's 9.30, but we didn't do that much crazy stuff. No, but I feel good that we came though. Just getting the used to kind of doing the machines and comfortable in the gym again, so you're more likely to come like next time by yourself or with me again. Yeah. And just getting to the routine, get the form right, making sure you're feeling the right muscles working, like so you improve your form on the, the dumbbell chest press and the lat pull down. Everything else was more or less the same. Yeah, that's true. Well, overall, do you feel good then? How's the anxiety now? To be fair, when it's this type of gym, no. 
When I was at Ultimate Fitness, yes. <laughs> but you liked Ultimate Fitness? I did. I liked the vibe of Ultimate Fitness, but the anxiety in here is probably a lot less. Yeah, because you've got more basic people around. I don't mean basic in a bad way, but I just mean like regular people that don't like. Yeah. That's not like a horse. I meant, sound, <laughs> that meant to sound like the Hulk, but that's not more like a horse, isn't it? It's just more like, to like more regular people. So it's like I don't feel too conscious. Or intimidated. Yeah. But in reality, even if you're at a local gym, local gyms usually the people are more polite than actual commercial gyms. So you keep looking at yourself, you're gonna look cock eyed, you know. Well, I'm, I'm flapping the thing back. He's looking at the side camera. I know it's distracting though, because I keep doing it, but still. But yeah, in regards to like local gyms and regular gyms, both gyms can help you see results. Local gyms are better, but yeah. you can, like, the people in local gyms I find, because they're more like really dedicated with fitness, they're more like to help you and be more friendly, but the stigma is that they're worse because they look like they look like meatheads. But I can tell you right now, the most dickhead people I've ever met have been in commercial gyms. Like people that are rude, people that are arrogant, people that are egotistical, like calm down, you're in a pure gym. You know what I mean? It's in fucking the Mecca, this isn't the Gold's gym. Mia, over any final words you'd like to give any wisdom for someone else that's struggling to get back in the gym? Just more of keep at it regardless of motivation. Motivation is not always going to be there, I guess. So it's like just the consistency is more important, I should say. Yeah, and even if it means only going to the gym, like you only managed to stay in there for 30 minutes, that's 30 minutes you didn't do before. So you don't have to go back in there and do 90 minutes or an hour. Do 30 minutes. To be honest, this only took a little bit longer because we're recording and just in general, just kind of, yeah, we're just talking and stuff. If she was by herself and done this exact same workout, it probably would have only took around 40, 45 yeah. minutes at most. So just do whatever you can, get in the gym, stay active, and just try and not make excuses. Like, don't be talking about, I don't want to get changed to go to the gym. Like, if you're tired, you're tired. If you're exhausted, you're exhausted. But once you start giving yourself little mini ex excuses that just really are bullshit, that's when you know you gotta make that step because that's willpower mode there. So you know what I mean? Thankfully, I'm here as boyfriend of the year to push you to go to the gym. Like you're showing now, Mary. Exactly, man. Man's <laughs> up. I'm basically Thor. Like, that's the shining armor. Thor. I'm Black Thor. Blow. So, anyway, anyways, people, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I may even end the vlog here. Or maybe show us when we go to Star City. But, um, but yeah, people, peace out. Stay getting gains. And I'll see you in the next clip. Bye. I meant to wink, but I just blinked. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs>